Hello everyone and welcome to my update regarding the future of Rebooted MCU. So before we get into the major updates I know you are all waiting for regarding the future of this series, I think it's important to recap the first three phases of Rebooted MCU, the Infinity Saga. So in Phase 1 we had Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Iron Man 2, Thor, Avengers, and The Fantastic Four. We moved into Phase 2 and started off with Captain America the First Avenger, followed by Iron Man 3, Thor Rampage of the Hulk, Fantastic Four Battle of the Deep, Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Spider-Man. And then we finished off with a bang in Phase 3, starting with Captain America Civil War, followed by Doctor Strange, Spider-Man Blind Spot, Black Panther, Fantastic Four Negative Zone, Thor Ragnarok, The Incredible Hulk Duality, Black Widow, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp Microverse, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, and finally Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and tell you guys how this series is changing, but then also not only release how many projects I have lined up for the next big saga in this rebooted MCU, but... I'm going to go ahead and drop the name of the saga and also when you can expect Rebooted MCU Phase 4 Part 1. So the first change is that each episode will not only feature one project. So if you all tuned in for the start of my Rebooted MCU, you guys noticed that in particular with the very early episodes, there were episodes that had maybe two or three projects built into that singular episode and that was really because most of the projects we were talking about I only had to tweak you know maybe one or two things so I could fit in two or three episodes and get done with the phase in you know again I think that my longest one now is seven and I just thought that that took away from some of the storytelling with a lot of the projects near the end of phase three like in, in Endgame and Daredevil the man without fear I was really stressing myself out trying to see if I could fit two projects in the same episode. And I think it really hurt my creative process in doing that. And as I've said, outside of one or two exceptions in this upcoming saga, I've written most of these. Uh, these are This narrative is in my head. I'm writing this. The characters, their journeys, yes, they're based on the comics, but they're based on comics with my own twist on them. So a lot of the projects, even franchises that you'll see pop up in this new, you know, saga are going to be franchises with a little bit of a twist than what they might already be in our current MCU. So I think it would be easier just to go ahead and make it to where it's only going to be one project per episode because it not only makes it easier for me, but I think it gives you guys a better story. Because I get to focus and spend more time on the individual projects in between, you know, the first part of Rebooted MCU Phase 4 to the second part of Rebooted MCU Phase 4. I'm not worried about fitting them together. I'm allowed to make them their own thing. And that also leads for longer stories, which, again, I think might end up being better and more enjoyable for you all. So the second change, which is not really as major is that going forward, I'm only going to release one episode per week, and it's going to be every Wednesday. So, summer's coming up for a lot of people, so, you know, I hope that this means in your summer routine, you'll get used to checking your YouTube feed on Wednesdays to see the next part of Rebooted MCU. This gives me a lot of time to make sure that the follow-up project, so, you know, again, you will see here the release date of um, Reboot MCU Phase 4 Part 1, this will give me time to make sure that Reboot MCU Phase 4 Part 2 is fully ready to go, and it gives me a, a lot of time in between uploads. So again, higher quality, easier on me, and it really, I think, helps the creative process. Um, and Because again, I want to give you guys good stories. I really care about these stories, and as much as this is about, you know, this is a passion of mine, and I really like these characters, and I'm a Marvel fan just like all of you. You know, I want this to do well. I would like to see my YouTube channel do well, and I know that the only way to do that is to provide you guys with high-quality content. So I really hope that 
this is me showing you all um, that I'm really committed to giving you guys a great story and doing something and taking some risks that I don't think the current MCU is taking. So with that being said, I know this is something that you've all been waiting for. We have 28 total projects in Saga 2. Phase 4 will have 10 projects, Phase 5 will have 9 projects, and Phase 6 will have 9 projects. So you have a lot of rebooted MCU to look forward to. And with that being said, how about I just go ahead and let you guys know what Saga 2 is actually all about.